Alright guys, so having a great day here. First of all, check this out. We got interesting. <laughs> Caleb just gave away his camper. That's pretty cool. Cool little Coleman. Little Coleman Fleetwood. Now the bad thing is I've been sleeping in here for the past couple of months. No one knows about it. So Caleb just gave away my home, you jerk. So we just got a call. Um, we got all the bikes back from the auction. We got a call for this bike right here. Listen for $2,700. It has a seat, Honda CB300F. Really cool bike, and the guy calls, he's like, hey, I'm two, hour, two and a half hours away, I wanna come buy that bike, I wanna bring it back, I wanna bring it back with cash. Normally, I'd be like, yes, come on. But with this bike, I just noticed that the handlebar was bent, and I'm like, well, I gotta get a new handlebar, not a huge deal, but I've actually not heard the bike run, because thought the battery was dead, it was doing this. Turn the key, it was doing this. So, at first, because it's, it's just normal, oh, the battery's low, the battery's fine. The battery's 100% fine. And then I tested to see, make sure it was getting the voltage. I was gonna test to make sure it was getting voltage to the starter. When I, the voltmeter down there, Harrison came up, he's like, hey, let's try to pop start it. Well, I had just tried to pop start it. I, you know, it was a smaller bike, so I put it in second gear, locked, tire locked right up. Harrison goes to push me, and I put it in third gear, locks right up. You know what I'm thinking? The engine's locked up. I think it's not, I think the issue is not, the issue's not the starter. I think the engine is legitimately locked up, which is crazy because it has such low miles on it. 2,500 miles. I mean, actually, to be honest with you, this might be under factory warranty. Hey, Caleb, what year is this? About 2017? I'm gonna put this in the highest possible gear I can think of. 2018! It's gotta still be under warranty. The back tire moving? No, it just, it just, it locks up. It's a 2018, it might sell warranty, bro. Um, you know, I, I have a, I have a motorcycle. I just wanted to see if it was still under warranty. Got a VIN? Yeah, M, L. That is a 2018 CB300F. Yes. Right. Started 9, 10, 18, ends 9, 9, 90, ended 9, 9, 90, just, just ended. Last week. Oh, last week. 11 days ago. Okay, no repairs found, no recalls, no outstanding campaigns or bulletins. Got a, got a clean history. There was a crankshaft uh, recall in earlier years, but it wouldn't have affected 18. And, uh, and if it had something, it would have been listed here. Does it seem uh, suspicious of you that Honda would, that Honda, like, mo like financial? would sell this motorcycle, like, the day. Oh, you think it was uh, repossessed and, and, then, and then sent through an auction from Honda Financial Services? It, it was, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. Did Honda Financial just sell us a Honda with a locked up motor? Dun, dun, dun. Let's, uh, let's pull the plug. This is the real question over here. What do we do with this? What do we do with this bike? What? What do we do with it if the engine's locked up? Do we throw a new motor in it? Alright, so I just got a call from Kevin. He told me to pop this cap off. It should be a 17 millimeter bolt underneath there. And once I get the plug out, I should be able to turn that. And that's how I'm able to turn the motor. So we're going to do that right now and see if we can get this thing to uh, not be locked up. That ain't good. That's really, really bad. That's the worst possible thing we could possibly see when we pull out a spark plug. I don't have a plug or a screwdriver that wide to get that. I'm just gonna use a quarter and then twist. I don't know if that's supposed to twist that off or how you this to pull that off, but I put a small screwdriver in there, I kinda nicked it up. It kinda sucks. All 
All right, so Harrison's gonna help me push this thing with the spark plug out, and this should, it should just roll easily. Let's strain the oil, see what's in there. This is where we're gonna figure out what actually happened to the, the little guy. A lot of metal in here. Really? Yeah. When I bought this, three days out of warranty. Look at that long rod of metal in there. All right, let's go see, uh, I got a text while I was doing that. No outstanding campaigns. No recalls on that bike. That's all I know. Do they have the auction papers uh, that you guys used when you were picking them up? Yeah, I have no idea where they were. Yeah, all right. What did the CR say when we bought the bike? All right, so I pulled up the bikes we bought. So we got a 66 on the CR report. Battery works. Engine mechanical. Three. Seized slash locked up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were you wondering why we got that so cheap? <laughs> yeah, that's that damage on the side. <laughs> well, I guess it was my fault that uh, we bought a locked up engine. Uh, I got no one to blame but myself. Some people say there's two different ways you can make. You can learn from, from other mistakes or your mistakes. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. Hopefully you guys can do that. Someone else says there's three different ways to learn. Your mistakes, other people's mistakes, and obedience. I think the third way is definitely the best way to learn. Hmm. I remember, I should have, we should have had it on film. I remember you calling me and be like, dude, I got this CB300, I got some bikes crazy cheap. I got this CB300 crazy cheap. That was a good deal. That was a killer deal. Oh, well, I guess we found our new uh, office uh, <laughs> statue. <laughs> hold up, hold up, not all is lost. I just bought, check this out, I bought a 2018 Honda CB250. 300. No, it's not 300 from an auction that was three days out of warranty. Engine, see, engine was seized up when I bought it. So how do I get a new motor for it? Uh, we can definitely get motors. What do you think that would cost? Uh, probably three grand, two to three grand. Really? It's not terrible, but I don't know that you're going to get right side out of it. Because you can buy, um, right now, I think, we had, a, we might have one more, um, CB300s for like, I don't know, $32.99, $33.99, yep. something like that. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> it's so freaking misleading though because you would think a seized engine would not be on a 1 to 10 scale like, is the fairing cracked? Right. You know what I mean? Like, like I feel like the... The CR report on a car, if it, the engine is seized, is drastically affected. Whereas if this bike was perfect, but the engine was seized, it would be at 90. That's pretty crazy to me. All right, so I don't actually know what happened to this bike. I thought like I'd see like sugar, taste sugar, or metal, or something. The spark plug's destroyed. A little bit of metal shavings in the oil, but I just, you know, they're pretty big pieces, but nothing crazy. This is the stuff that last came out. Nothing crazy. It does seem very thin though. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what happened to the bike. They knew <laughs> it didn't happen on my watch. So whoever was selling it, Honda Financial, they knew that the engine was froze up when they sold it. Let's say something like this happened. Let's say I bought a bike, someone put something in it, and I didn't know what happened. And then the person who I sold it to, they got stuck with it. You know, it broke down and locked up while they had it. You know what? That's on me. You know what I mean? I would, I, I, I would never, I could never push a problem like this onto someone else. Now, I could run this bike back at auction. It's not happening. I'm not going to do that unless I put on big thing, engine locked up. Because that's the honest thing to do. What am I going to do with this bike? Honestly, I have no idea. This is not the last you're going to see this bike. I'm going to figure out some way to make my money back or make something right or make some content. I don't want to part the bike out. Maybe we buy a whole new motor. Maybe we buy a brand new motor. Maybe we make this thing right. We buy a brand spanking new motor. I don't know. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see us do with this bike. That's, that's the first. That, that, that's the first. Never had a bike that uh, bought it. Two-year-old bike that with the, with the engine locked up. But that happened. That's life. That's the motorcycle business. I got a lot of work to do. We'll see you guys later.